Lancelot du Lac, or Lancelot of the Lake, is a 1974 French film by iconic French director Robert Bresson, director of the likes of Pickpocket, Le Argent, and A Man Escaped. Lancelot as a character in this film stems from a long line of adaptation. Lancelot's name first appears as one of Arthur's knights in Chrétien de Troyes' 12th century romance of Eric et Enid. Later stories by the author describe him as Guinevere's rescuer and lover, and mention Lancelot's upbringing by a lake, possibly an inspiration for Bresson's title. The 15th century Le Mort d'Arthur by Sir Thomas Mallory brings about a slightly more modern Lancelot. Bresson's 1974 Lancelot du Lac seems to be a reworking of several of multiple tales and general themes within Le Mort d'Arthur. Now to introduce the five main characters of Lancelot du Lac. We have, of course, King Arthur, Lancelot himself, Gawain, Mordred, and Queen Guinevere. For a brief summary of the film in 30 seconds, Lancelot returns empty-handed from a quest for the Holy Grail and seeks comfort with Queen Guinevere, King Arthur's wife. Arthur's nephew, Mordred, discovers Guinevere's scarf at her and Lancelot's secret meeting spot, realizing the affair. Lancelot skips a jousting tournament to be with Guinevere, however, during the tournament, a mysterious knight with a white shield defeats many, including Mordred. Gawain and Arthur recognize this knight as Lancelot. Lancelot, injured from the tournament, flees into the woods. A storm that night is seen as a bad omen, leading to the belief that Lancelot is dead. Mordred reveals the affair to Arthur, who then imprisons Guinevere in the tower where she and Lancelot had their meetings. Lancelot, recovering in a cottage, returns to rescue Guinevere. Arthur wages war against Lancelot, resulting in many casualties, including Gawain's death. Guinevere, guilt-ridden, returns to Arthur. Lancelot fights in the Battle of Camelon, where both Arthur and Mordred die. Lancelot is the last to die, whispering Guinevere's name before he goes. This story is so foretold that the characters move as if already predetermined to do so. Lines are said as if they've been said before, and the actors move like puppets. Writer Kathleen Murphy says a similar thing. Bresson's version has become a closed system, a kind of Dantean circle, in which the players walk through the drama as they have so many times before, assigned to act for us in an eternal ceremony. Il était de moi de ramener le Graal. Ce n'est pas le Graal. C'est Dieu que vous vouliez. Mais Dieu n'est pas un objet qu'on rapporte. Some might interpret this as bad acting, but knowing Bresen, this is purposeful. The combining of classical stories, tropes, and characters, Bresen strips the story down to its most simplistic state, that of dialogue and basic plot, differing from other, more fanciful interpretations of medieval stories. There's intense repetition throughout the film, the coming and going through simple halls of the castle, extreme close-up shots of horses' eyes, clanking of metal armor, and the mounting of horses. Kathleen Murphy nods to the repetition. No excitement or rise in narrative temperature is generated by this progressive cutting. Rather, it advances the story into epiphany. The repetition matches the repetitive narrative Bresen is trying to portray. This story has been told thousands of times before. Cleveland State University professor Bruce A. Beattie says a similar thing. The narrative is difficult to follow. Bresen's film imagery deliberately dehumanizes the characters, and the thoroughly non-traditional ending shows Lancelot's meaningless death. There's a lack of a lesson in Bresen's film. The grail is never found, and it all ends in peril. The characters routinely make the wrong decisions, and it's hard to empathize with them. University of Chicago professor Sarah Vo says, there's a refusal to glamorize or spiritualize the Arthurian myth. Bresen deviates from Mallory's presentation of the tales. The myth is made human, and yet the magic exists in the character's lack of choice. They follow the paths that are set for them. Vo continues, the quest for the Holy Grail evokes ancient memories of a golden age of heroic exploits, fair maidens, and violence done in the name of a higher power. We see these events put before us in the film, in the eternal ceremony that Murphy talked about. The quest for the Grail will fail. Mordred will be power hungry, Gawain will be charming and courageous, and Guinevere will be in danger to be saved by Lancelot. Mallory and Detroit's Lancelot exists in this film, but the film is less about the characters and more about the existential impossibility of their choices. 